Hey everyone, so today we're going to just be doing a very chill, relaxed, get ready with me. I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys in a while, just like updating and talking about regular things. Anyways, it's been a while since I posted a video and I just want to get down to it and I just, I, I guess that I've had an epiphany. <laughs> As you can see, things have changed up in this background a bit i've just i've just been doing a lot of changes especially now that the semester is over but hold on let me just start putting on my makeup so this is not like just talking i'm going to use the makeup forever step one skin equalizer primer thing i've had it for such a long time and i just i don't use it all that often um oh i didn't even put a mirror in front of me how great it's fine it's cool <laughs> So what was I saying? Changes. Yes, so I've been doing a lot of changes lately and good changes. I've also mentioned this before, but if you hear so many cars on the side, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I live next to a very busy road in New York in a shady town. So <laughs> we're just going to leave that as that is and hopefully it's not too distracting. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I actually just picked this up. This is the Eco Tools Perfecting Blender applicator and I just thought it was, I don't know, just different. My everyday sponge, I use the Real Technique sponge, you guys know this and for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know that from time to time every Sunday I do get ready with me's on my Instagram stories and look at what happened to this like what <laughs> my daughter she's very hands-on these days so she got to it and it just didn't get away and then on top of that I've used it so many times so it was time for it to go so I'm gonna throw that out right after this so I picked this up long story short you guys know I make all of my stories long. You can actually wet it, so that's what I did. It feels a bit firm. And this foundation has gotten to be one of my top favorite drugstore foundations. I feel like I should do a video on like my top favorite drugstore foundations. I just want to try a couple more just to include some variety in there. Oh, wow. This is very different. It's very dense. Um... But it's blending really nicely. Alright, so school is over. My spring semester is finally over. The drag that that was. Today is also my last day of my internship that I had to do. Is my dog okay? She's fine. Um, it's the last day of my internship that I've been doing at a pediatrician's office. And it's just, I'm finally able to breathe. I feel like... I've gotten a bunch of weight lifted off of my shoulders. If some of you didn't know, I'm a pre-med major and I've actually started vlogging on my other channel. It's called Within Ariel Eloisa and that's basically where I put everything but makeup. I mean, I talk about makeup and stuff, but it's pretty much all of my pre-med stuff, my school things, um, and day-to-day -day life, pretty much. I feel like this tool would be perfect for trying to get around that eyebrow area, especially if you do your eyebrows first. Usually I do, but uh, today just skipped my mind. <laughs> for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. It's the Lifting HD Concealer in Light. And the one thing I don't like about this is that the light really isn't light. As you can see, it's pretty much my skin color. Um, but yeah, it's not light. <laughs> But it does have good coverage, so I like it for concealing, just not highlighting. And I'm going to use the same blender to blend out. It's so much harder than I thought to like talk and do my makeup. <laughs> I always go over my like mustache area with concealer because it could be a little shady sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to change things up for powder a bit because I know that I always use the same two powders all the time. So today I'm going to be using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I won't recommend this as a foundation um, just because it doesn't really cover. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. I think this is the blush brush to be honest. I don't have their powder brush but that's that. 
All right, so what else, guys? What else do I have to say? So I, about my epiphany. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I would have never done this. I would have never just sat down. I would have never just pretty much sat down and done my makeup, turned my camera on, and been like, hey, I'm going to film a video. I have this lot of time, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I can. I always tend to overthink things, and that's something I feel like you should just never do just... I'm such a bad overthinker and I just, I one day I just decided to stop having my head so far in the future and just do things, like just do it, <laughs> just do it. Setting my eyes with the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder and their concealer blush, blush, flawless concealer brush. <laughs> So with this area, I just want to let you guys know that this isn't a beauty room. I don't have that. This is just a little section of my living room that my husband said, Hey, look, this is where you can film your um, beauty videos if you want. And it was just dedicated to that. And I didn't like it. Like, I just didn't like walking in my house and seeing my lights and seeing a table. I just, it just actually demotivated me then motivated me and I felt like I couldn't focus on my school studies I didn't want to just sit down here and I couldn't I'm talking about focus <laughs> I couldn't focus I couldn't study at home I had to go somewhere else and I just didn't like that and I kept telling myself like oh I'm gonna need to get this or I'm gonna need to get this because I need to toddler proof my makeup so I was thinking like I need to buy this instead of trying to make do with what I have and so a couple of days ago I was like screw this and I just started relocating everything and I told myself I don't need stringy lights for you guys to like me I don't need the entire background to be makeup I don't need even though it is right now but I'm just I'm saying I don't need things for you guys to like me if that makes any sense and and I'm really not here I'm, I'm not trying to put a show for you guys to like me I just I suck at my words but I don't want to edit this part because I'm I'm trying to be as genuine and I want you guys to see that that I genuinely love making videos and for some of you you've been with me since my first video like three years ago and that's insane hold on let me just keep going because I'm gonna start crying <laughs> for eyebrows I've been using the wet and wild pencil there it's their only brow pencil with the spoolie on the end and it's just matching my hair a lot better than anything that I have and I like it Okay, so as I was saying, um, I just want you guys to know that I don't make these videos just to be another person making makeup videos. This is my outlet. This is where I go to when I feel like I just need to be myself. Like, I just need to breathe. And I'm learning more and more every single day on how to just accept who I am as I am. I I've just gone through so much when it comes to my self-love and I recently vlogged about it too, about how I feel like I've finally reached a new level of self-love, like I've gone a level higher and, and I, I'm just so happy about it. I mean, I'm not like completely up there, but I know I've made progress and I'm proud of myself and I'm going to give that to myself, how I am proud of myself. I don't know when the last time I got my eyebrows done, but I've been trying to even them out myself. So that's also another thing. I just, I know I'm going on tangents here, but I just want to be downright honest with you guys. Like for my eyeballs, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I got this for my two-year wedding anniversary. I think look how pretty it is I have used it a couple times and I think I featured it on my blog sometimes I also um, when I haven't filmed make sure you're subscribed to my blog because I do post up just looks with the makeup details um, so yeah <laughs> what kind of look do I want to do do I want to be regular degular I'm gonna use honey butter on my crease with my favorite crease brush 
But you guys know this already. I use this one in like every single video at least. Alright, so I feel like I just keep going on tangents and forgetting what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna talk and if stupid talk. I'm just gonna talk and if I forget to mention something of what I'm doing or what I'm using, I'll probably just leave it on the screen or leave it in the uh, description box below. So yeah, I just, I used to think that everything had to be perfect and when I even started, I know you guys are going to think that this is freaking ridiculous, but when I first started out, I didn't want to make videos until I was a specific weight and I'm talking about I had a number in mind and I told myself that I wasn't going to make videos until I had reached that weight and it's just so ridiculous and it makes me, it just makes me so sad to think that that's how low of myself I thought um, I'm gonna use cutie patootie on my lid <sighs> that I felt like I had to be a certain weight to make <laughs> beauty videos and you know this, these types of videos and it just sounds so ridiculous but this is the first time I've ever really mentioned this or I guess said it out loud but it's just so freeing like I'm tired of hiding things I'm, t I'm tired of hiding things from you guys and in, it's not like I'm being super secretive or I'm like trying to lie to you guys I'm not I'm just not being open about things and it's things that everyone struggles with and I I want to talk about it because I I want to help people I love helping people and oh, here we go with the waterworks <laughs> Um, <clears throat> needless to say, having gone through what I did, and I don't want to say get over it, but having overcome those feelings, those dreadful, sad moments, I don't want anybody to feel like that. Like, I, I genuinely want to help you guys, and if it means being vulnerable and talking to you guys about certain things that, that are so hard to talk about, I will. Like I'm coming clean, of it, but there's like nothing scammy or like I don't know. There's nothing juicy. I'm just I'm trying to just be as honest as I can because, like I said, I just I make videos because it helps me and because I want to help people. So what else has been going on? Um, I'll do, even though this isn't a beauty room, I don't really care. This is what I have. And if you guys want to see how it ends up turning out, I'm not done whatsoever. Like, there's some things that I'm going to DIY. There's some things that are going to be put on the wall. I am not done at all. So make sure that you are subscribed to my vlog channel. But currently, I've cut out candy from my diet, like, completely. And today's day one. It's not even, like, 3 p.m and I'm already like I came home instinctively wanting to go to a specific drawer that I completely wiped out a couple of days ago I had a bunch of candy in there and I just didn't realize how much I relied on candy and sugar I'm gonna take a denser crease brush this is the M519 brush and I'm gonna use honeymoon from this is Honeymoon. I used Cutie Patootie on my lid and I used um, Honey Butter on my crease. And I'm just going to put Honeymoon on my outer V just because it's a bit darker. So it'll add some depth. Let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Um... I feel like another thing that would hold me back from making videos is my stupid tooth. And for some of you, maybe you've realized, maybe it's just me because I'm not used to it. So like, it's the first thing I see when I edit, but I know you guys, this tooth right here. I had braces for like two years and I didn't wear my retainers. Over the years, it just, it wasn't as bad as it is now, but over the years, um, at first it was just a little bit. You know, you could barely notice it. And now, I feel like it's just gotten worse and worse. I want to do something about it. I don't want to get braces again, but maybe Invisalign. Even though I've been seeing a bunch of the Smile Health Club or something like that. Smile Direct Club. 
and it's supposed to be like this newer version it's like supposed to be more inexpensive than the Invisalign trays you're like they send you something you send it back to them like a mold and then you just go from there I'll put some of heaven in the tear duct with my finger my unmanicured finger <laughs> I haven't done a winged liner on this channel in such a long time just because I didn't have the right pencil but I recently bought this scandalized thick and thin eyeliner from Rimmel it looks like a micro marker it has a thinner side and then a thicker side but it's just really nice to wing out your liner with this I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly and put on some of this wet n wild renegade lash renegade mascara by the way, that eyeliner makes it... Okay, this might be really weird talking to you like this, but that eyeliner... Do you guys also take forever to put on mascara? It's like something so simple, I don't understand. Okay, so for my face, as in like my contour, my blush, my highlight, I'm going to be using this Rimmel... I don't really know what it's called. Rimmel's First Sculpting Palette, designed by Kate Moss. So it's just this little trio type of thing. And these are my favorite. I actually just got one from Tarte. It's coming in the mail right now. And I tried the Maybelline one, but I don't really like it. I just feel like they're so perfect, especially if you're the type of person that lives on the go. Me? Um, yes. I'm just gonna take a dual fiber brush. I got this one from my Ipsy bag. Love when I get good stuff in my Ipsy bag. And I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks. I actually hollow a little bit above so that way it's more lifted, but to each their own. So for me, you see how that hollow is right there? I'm not gonna go directly on there. I'm just gonna go a little bit above and contour. And then I'm going to contour my temples, my big ass forehead. My jawline. It is. I keep shutting it to like go get the next product, but it's all here. And then I'm gonna use this Luxie Precision Foundation brush from Luxie in 660. And I'm going to apply the highlight with it just because I like how it's like domed and flat. Yes. And for the lips, I'm going to be using Nudist Peach. you guys so that is really it for this look I don't think I missed any steps usually I do but I think I got it all down today thank you guys for listening to me thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this entire time people who are new I know there's a bunch of new people on this channel I appreciate you guys so much for wanting to join the family as well as everyone that has been with me since before I got pregnant since what was it like three years ago it's just it's been so insane and maybe I'm getting too emotional because it's that time of the month I don't know I just get super hormonal but I I just can't thank you guys enough for being on this journey with me even though you may have not felt like you were you were and I promise that I'm gonna start sharing more with you guys because I know there's so many people that have been in my shoes and so many people that maybe still are and I just I just want to help in the ways that I can um, so I'm gonna just leave this off here again thank you guys so much for listening and for 
watching this probably really really long video yeah all right this is a very long goodbye but goodbye i'll see you in my next video